Now that we know how to insert drum MIDI, let's do the bass, which I would argue is a little bit easier. Actually, quite a bit easier. Well, it depends on who you are. It depends on your grasp of guitar playing. But most of us are guitar players watching these videos, so this isn't difficult. Um, here's the bass MIDI I came up with. Literally follows the guitar. So here's a little easy shortcut here. What we're going to do again insert new MIDI item, click and drag it, and uh, loop item source checked off. Now here's a fun little tip. We're gonna go into the drum MIDI. Uh, luckily it's already lined up to C and that's the key we're in, so that's pretty cool, very easy. So what we're gonna do is copy this, and then there's a little tab down here, go over to bass, and make sure you're in the right spot. Click where it starts and just hit control V to paste it in. And there's your baseline. There's like, I would say about 75, 80% of the work done for you right there. The only difference here is you see these blanks here, what I was saying earlier about um, the length not mattering for bass, it does. So let's, let's uh, take these ones that we know we have to, actually we've got five here. So I'll just do this really quick so you guys can see how this is done. Click and drag it out. And then this, you can't highlight both of these because then this one will pull and overlap it. So just pull the one. Again, a tedious process, but it just makes for a uh, a better sound. Otherwise, it's going to go dit, 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 and it's going to sound like crap. It's not. Gonna, it's going to sound like an insanely muted bass. Actually, here, you know what? Let me just uh, play it once. It's just the bass. Oh, that's why we got it. Okay. Okay. So it automatically defaults to the C2. I guess it's too low. That's where C actually starts. All right. So control and up. All right. There we go. So now we can actually hear it. So I'll show you now what this does sound like when it's uh, cut off. Sounds like crap. All right. Let's go back over here. Again, this uh, this MIDI bass has much to be desired, but it's it's all these plugins are free, so I'm just kind of doing the free stuff so you guys can get an idea of what you know what sound you'll be getting with only free stuff. Again, do this for all of them. Actually, here so. So we know we got that. So here we can take this here paste it right in there. Control V, so there's that. Now here's where it gets different. So on the guitar, we're not following that C. So if you, when you're playing guitar, you're gonna have to go back and forth with like looking at the notes, unless you just know this stuff, uh, you know, notes and names and all that good stuff. So that'll make it easier for you, but, but I know guitar, um, I'm playing a drop C and this section's going, Da, 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 da. So I'm going one, open, one. Yeah, E is four. Okay, so now we'll have, just do both of these. And that's pretty much it. Now we'll do the same thing for the, uh, the ending right here. So I know what am I doing here? I'm going again, knowing what notes you're playing. This is where it's very crucial. So I'm going five, two, no, five, three, two, three. So five is going to be F. All right. And then I know that three is D sharp. I know two is yep so there's that and you got the first section done so what you can do is copy and paste this yet again because the riff repeats makes it so much easier <laughs> Now we're not doing the same thing here. What we can do 
this is doing uh, I do these weird chords I mean it's kind of like a common thing in like a lot of death chord stuff where you uh, play basically like a, a regular power chord like you would in standard but you're doing it in drop and that's how you get this kind of um, sound but anyways it's not the point um, I know what I'm doing here is I'm going five no yeah five three three and then four two two so what we're going to do we're just going to follow the bass note so that would be on Actually, we'll take these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to delete these. So we know we got that. So we know we got three, two, which translates to D sharp and D. I guess that's just to make it sound more complete. Cut them off a little bit shorter. And yep, that's uh how you get an idea going. Let's unmute this all and hear what it sounds like again. It doesn't sound perfect, but this is just a starting point from here. You would kind of like drag stuff around and get, you know, your um, timing a little bit more in the pocket, I guess you could say. But, uh, oh, you know what? Did this drag over? It did. No wonder it sounds funky. This will happen sometimes. I don't know why, but it does. See how this isn't lining up? No wonder it sounds funky. All right, now let's listen to it. <laughs> So yeah, it's not hard. It's just, you know, a little bit of time consuming, but that's how it goes. Um, if you have any more questions, any anything you'd like me to cover more of, let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.